Early morning fire in Indianapolis forced several people out of their homes and sent a child to the hospital. Happened around 3 a.m. on the northwest side. Pike Township firefighters found flames burning up the back of the building and through the roof. The fire department says they were able to put it out quickly and stop it from affecting too many units. But some people will not be able to live in their apartments for a few weeks. Fire officials say this same apartment complex actually had a fire not too long ago, but that's not surprising to them. This is kind of the season for that, so we've got candles, uh, cooking fires, such like that. Okay. That happens around this time of year. Uh, it's an uptick. Just because of the season, cold weather, you know, people burn candles, people, you know, cooking fires. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. Firefighters say the child who went to the hospital is expected to be okay. And just like that battalion chief mentioned, a lot of families may turn to alternative heating sources to stay warm over the winter. But as you can see, those methods can be dangerous. Between 2014 and 2018, alternative heating devices were responsible for 73% of home heating fires in the U.S. Space heaters alone accounted for nearly 40% of those. Officials say ensuring you're using these devices properly and having working smoke alarms are two things often overlooked until it's too late. The smoke alarm is not important until you have the fire. Most of these fire fatalities would not have happened if they would have had working smoke detectors in the house. And as a reminder, you should never use home appliances like ovens as an alternative heating source. That's because doing so can cause carbon monoxide poisoning.